and I have no way of proving this because C, uh, Hubbard's CIA file is still sealed, and that's really um, that's really rare. Usually, when a person dies, their files you can Freedom of Information Act their files. But here we are, forty years after Hubbard's death, and we still have a sealed file on Hubbard. However, I suspect that he was one of the early precursors to MK Ultra subjects. And one of the, um, I don't know how young they started him, but he was a classic case that you see over and over in uh, military families where the, the father is an officer. And just like in the Catholic Church, you're expected to sort of sacrifice or loan or give your, your firstborn to be you know, groomed to do whatever. And he was groomed to be a lifelong intelligence agent, as I was later to learn. And um, so he was a very talented man. One of I began to ask this question, what is man? And uh, I found oddly enough that nobody could tell me what man was. Uh, what did he consist of? Where was he going? What was he doing? To really know life, you've got to be part of life. You must get down and look. You must get into the the nooks and crannies of existence. There, uh, you have to rub elbows with all kinds and types of men before you can finally establish what he is. And you, in fact, did this. Yes, I've slept with bandits in Mongolia, and I've uh, uh, hunted uh, with uh, pygmies in the Philippines. As a matter of fact, I have studied twenty-one uh, different primitive races, uh, including the white race. <laughs> and uh, my conclusions were that uh, man, he was a spiritual being that was pulled down to the material, the fleshly interests, to an interplay in life that was, in fact, too great for him to confront. And I concluded, finally, that he needed a hand. One of the things, and this is what we may get into a little more, because people are going to ask, well, I, you know, what about Leah Remini's show and these things, and is Scientology is all bad and all abusive by what I've seen. Um, I want to present a little more about, as we go, the idea that the dark occultists have put Scientology together um, throughout Hubbard's life. And they drew upon theosophy and some other older spiritual movements that they had pushed forward were, I think, hoping to sequester a lot of the budding knowledge about the mind into a cult that could be monitored and controlled. And so it's sort of a thesis of mine that Scientology was a social experiment a cutout for a possible new world order religion, which they had more than one. They had the, uh, um, I'm drawing a blank on the name, but the um, it's a major church that came out of South Korea. And it was formed at the Unification Church, formed in the same year Scientology was, registered in 1954, and had extremely strong ties to the CIA, both, both organizations.